Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna watch an introduction to Theravada Buddhism. The reason being a subscriber of mine reached out to me via the comment section and asked me if I wouldn't like to react to different religions such as Theravada Buddhism in this case. As I said guys, at the moment I'm studying Islam deeply. I came to understand so much about the religion, so much that I appreciate about the religion and therefore at the moment I'm not too interested to dive into other religions. However, if you guys really want me to react to other religions, you can always let me know in the comment section. Moreover, if you want me to react to whatever, politics, social issues, diet, bodybuilding, you can always let me know in the comment section and I will gladly react to those topics. Anyways, with no further ado, let's have a look. Hello and welcome to the Theravada Buddhist introduction. Today I am going to explain what Theravada Buddhism is, what it means and how the forms developed in the different countries today. Theravada has been the predominant religion of continental Southeast Asia, Thailand, Myanmar, Burma, Kambodja, and Laos and Sri Lanka. Today Theravada Buddhists number well over 100 million worldwide. In recent decades, Theravada has begun to take root in the West. What we call Theravada today... If nothing else, I have to say that I appreciate the Buddhist music. It's so relaxing. ...today is the sole survivor of those early non-Mahayana schools. To avoid the pejorative tone implied by the terms Hinayana and Mahayana, it is common today to use more neutral language to distinguish between these two main branches of Buddhism. Because Theravada historically dominated Southeast Asia, it is, it is sometimes called Southern Buddhism, while Mahayana, which migrated northwards from India to China, Tibet, Japan, and Korea, is known as Northern Buddhism. Okay. Theravada follows scriptures of the Buddha himself and applies a rather traditional moral in the field of teaching. Parts of Theravada meditation range from focus on simple breathing concentration to the more complicated forms of traditional metta meditation. Theravada Buddhists usually practice to seek refuge to the Buddha by praying, whereas monks, associated in a higher position, focus on living their lives by the traditional teaching of the Buddha. This is something I have an issue with. This is one of the reasons why I couldn't follow Buddhism. I couldn't seek refuge with the Buddha. Many Christians seek refuge within Christ. I personally always seek refuge with God. And this is something that the Quran confirmed. Called the Dharma or Dharmapada. Although the use of Theravada meditation is now spreading to the Western countries, Traditionally, Theravada meditation is associated to be practiced by monks. Here we must understand that the perception of the Theravada teaching varies in different cultures. Therefore, the Western countries may not stray from using these meditation methods. Although even the Theravada tradition... But this is something that I learned within orthodoxy. Within Christian orthodoxy, there's so much knowledge about Eastern mysticism, about Eastern practices and warnings about them as well. Because back in the day, we saw yoga and Buddhism swapping over to the West. Some people thought that yoga is simply an exercise. But ultimately, indirectly, you are worshipping those gods. You're worshipping idols or even worse, you're worshipping demons unknowingly and this is the same thing when it comes down to this practice here Theravada Buddhism how would you know that within Theravada Buddhism meditation you're not worshipping demons but even if you're not worshipping demons you are worshipping Buddha you're worshipping a man and like that you're of course straying further away from God it varies greatly from the other traditions that evolved after Buddha died all traditions follow the same concept of the Eightfold Path and nearly always aim for enlightenment. And now, enjoy the rest of the meditation music.
Alright guys, and this is it for today's video. Extremely short video, but nevertheless extremely interesting video as well. It ended on the note of enlightenment. And this is the exact reason why I got out of the new age, out of Buddhism, out of seeking truths within Hinduism, for example. Because there was this constant promise of enlightenment. But what is enlightenment ultimately? Enlightenment is playing God. We can become enlightened like gods. We are gods. We are the creators of the universe. We are our own creator, the creator of our own reality, etc., etc. It is always the same promise. But moreover, if you really look into it, those religions, they are in the business of making you enlightened. But how many enlightened people did they really produce? If you look into Buddhist countries, I don't see everybody being an enlightened monk. And moreover, I spent time within Buddhist monasteries. I fasted, I cleaned the Buddhist monasteries, I stayed there for quite some time. And even in those monasteries, you don't see that many enlightened monks. Listen, I love Asia and I do appreciate the architecture of the Buddhists. I do appreciate their music. I do even appreciate their food sometimes. Overall, I really have a lot of love for their culture. I really have love for those people. But nevertheless, personally, this doesn't sit right with me. This doesn't look like the truth for me. It doesn't resonate with me. It is an aspect of truth. Maybe there is a partial truth within it. And there is, of course, a lot of merit with meditation, relaxing the body, etc., etc. But ultimately, I do see this, admittedly, as a false thing theology. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for that. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.